Abore and Caroline, I'm a cancer psychologist working with, uh, for Tenada Youth Organization. We are partnering with uh, Ponea Health and we'll be talking about conduct disorder among children. Conduct disorder is just one of behavior disorders we see in children. Um, uh, it falls in behavior destructive disorder, behavior destructive disorder. We have in the intermittent explosive disorder. These are disorders where a child just explodes and they do things without thinking. They are different from conduct disorder. Conduct disorder, they are calculative, they are smart, and they are charming. But when it comes to intermittent explosive disorder, they do things without thinking. And that's why it's so easy for them to be caught when they make mistakes. They will always threaten, like, I'm going to do this, I'm going to beat you, I'm going to steal your things. So they, they live behind... They leave behind evidence, and so it's so easy to catch them, and it's so easy to, to know what they're thinking. The difference between them, again, with the color disorder, they are explosive, does not last so long. They might take 30 minutes alone, and uh, they will feel remorseful, they will feel sorry, they'll feel shameful, unlike the conduct disorder. Then we have oppositional um, defiant disorder. From the word defiant and oppositional, it just means that a child does not take any advice from anybody. All they want is to make sure that they make everybody feel they're always on the opposite side direction. You tell them this, they go this other direction. And might feel they're doing this just to annoy you. Yes, they're doing that to annoy you. And it, they use it as a way of punishing a parent or punishing the teachers or just punishing other people around them. So they are very different. And these disorders, it's usually best if they are given at least eight to eight to 18 weeks of, of counseling, and the counseling might take one to, to two hours, because when they come to your office for counseling, they might decide they're not speaking. And so you'll have to take time to get into their head, make friends with them, and then start the therapy. So it is very important that when you're taking a child for counseling or for, 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 for therapy, you are very keen on whom you're taking this child to, somebody who understands what conduct disorder is, what uh, behavior destructive disorder is, so that they can be able to help this child in the correct way. As I mentioned, there are three, and they're all different in a different way. So this person must be able to know how to deal with all the different disorder in a very, 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 very keen and very sensitive way. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have learned a lot from each other. If you want to book my services, you can always do that through ponea.com. You will get me, you will be referred to me, and we will be able to continue with this topic or anything that might be disturbing you psychologically. Thank you.